Direct or partial variation, true or false? Write the correct statement if false. Question 7. My purpose of taking so many examples on this simple topic of direct and partial is that it is extremely important. And now we are going to explore lines, rate, rate of change, all those for all those things, we need this good foundation of direct and partial variation, right? This is a question for you. Let's test whether you've understood or not. Question 7. The following graph represents direct relation as the dependent variable increases with independent variable and the graph go through origin. So what do you think? Is it true or false? Okay, here's my answer. For me, it is false. Now let me explain you why. Why is it false? It says graph is going through origin. Okay, good job. And it is increasing. This is your dependent variable. Dependent variable is increasing and independent variable. Both are increasing. Do you see that? Wordings are such that will make you make a mistake. But remember our good old formula. One it is not a straight line, right? Since it is not a straight line, it cannot be a direct variation. It may go through origin, fine. Second, let's try to find the ratio of y over x. Is it a constant? Let us check this out. So let's pick up some points from here. Let's say this is a good point, 2 and 2. And how about this? This is also a good point, 4 and 8, right? So let's write down these two points here. The point is 2 is the x value, y value is 2. So ratio of y to x is 2 over 2, right, which is 1. How about this point? x value is 4, right? So we have a point here which is 4 and y value is 8. And therefore, the ratio of y over x is 8 over 4. You see, 8 over 4 is equals to 2, not 1. You see, since their ratio is not constant, it cannot be a direct variation. Correct? That is most important. So, not a straight line and ratio not constant. Not a direct variation. 